What up, what up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the CG Show with me, your lovely host. Well, I have been told I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm playing CG. But anyway, I'm going to be talking about Seether ICO today. If you guys aren't familiar with it, John McAfee made a tweet about it in the last week or two in regards to Seether ICO and how he's really behind the project and what it's going to do for the industry. And Seether in a nutshell is a social marketing platform which it's a platform that I feel like a lot of companies out there could take notes from you know to be you know to be fair but yeah essentially the way Cetha works is let's say for instance I'm a customer of a company and let's say the company is I don't know um, Dell like Dell Dell computers and I really like Dell computers and I tweet about them I retweet my last two purchases from Dell or my last purchase you know I'm talking about it on my blog or Twitter or Facebook I, I guess and whatever how how this works is whenever I mention like a Dell product in this particular example a smart contract is created and through that smart contract I am granted incentives to keep talking about Dell products you know incentives in the form of like bonuses or even in the form of like see my phone keeps going off man in the form of like discounts on future products so on and so forth and they're really revolutionizing the way they're doing this because they're from what I've un from what I've seen the first ICO or blockchain project that's actually done this or doing this. That's why I said a lot of companies can take note. Now, Seether is going to have a hundred million tokens available in the crowd sale. And just so you know, that hundred million tokens doesn't mean there's going to be a hundred million tokens in circulation. That's a hundred million tokens created in total to be distributed or allocated amongst, you know, certain areas in the platform or project. So if we scroll down here, oh, as a matter of fact, just to remind, just to let you guys know, the token sale is going to end on the 14th of February. The bonus is a 40% right now. I believe one Seether token is like almost two bucks right now. It's around two bucks. So, yeah, let's skip all the, um, the technical jargon because I know not a lot of people on here are really tech savvy. Shoot. To be honest, everybody, I'm not that tech savvy myself. I just understand when something is going to make a difference. Like, like that's me personally. Like, because I have a lot of haters who come on my video and be like, man, this guy doesn't know, know anything about, about, about blockchain technology and how many um, MB go inside of one block and what it takes to code on the block. You know, you know, like, you know, a lot of people who are kind of really, really, really into the tech part of um, cryptocurrencies. That's cool. But don't come over here throwing your, um, your, uh, what's the word, um, what you feel is worthy of being a YouTuber who talks about crypto on me. If you don't like my content, you guys can go that way. But that's not what I'm here to talk about, guys. We're here to talk about Seether and how you should understand the platform or why you should take the time to understand the platform. So 100 million tokens are going to be minted, as I said, one seeth is equivalent to 0 0.003 Ethereum. They have a hard cap of 165k. Your minimum contribution as per regular, and I don't think this has ever changed since the beginning of ICO time and the dawn of the cryptosic per period, you know, a million, two million, yeah, I'm playing, but yeah, you know what I mean. Minimum 0.1 ETH or a BTC equivalent, and the bonus is going to be 40%. So 25% of the tokens are to be sold in the pre-sale, 30% to be sold in the actual crowd sale, 35% is reserved for the incentivizing tour of the community, such as beta testers, partners, tokens will be diluted in 7% seven, seven, in 7 per year. So every year they're going to, I guess, release 7% of the remaining tokens into the market and dur during the next five years to support future steering of the project so you know they're going to unload a little bit every year to steer the project in the right direction so 10 percent is to be sold you know to it's a for a lot of people don't understand what i mean by liquidate it's not for them to use for their own personal gain it's so that they can actually move forward in the in the production and the creation of their project 
See, see, I got, see, I got the fam on deck. You know, red coin cheap. Know what I mean? Nah, let me stop. No, let me stop. Let me stop. See, see, they, they out here. But 10% to be sold directly on the platform for service consumers. These tokens will be locked for six months after the end of the crowd sale. So, just so this is pretty apparent. So, Seether apparently is going to have. 55% in total to be distributed to um, investors. So around 55 million tokens are going to be in circulation. And to be honest, that I don't know what they're going to do if they don't um, hard cap where they sell all their tokens out for in both of the sales. But shoot, they may even come to a point where they burn the tokens. Who knows? They may do that. Oh, okay. Any unsold tokens in the pre-sale will go into crowd sale. Based at the end, a proportion will be minted for the company and the platform to keep the balance to prevent dilution. Therefore, the community will own 55%, the company will own 35%, and the platform will own 10%. So, yeah. That's basically going to be the breakdown for the um the crowd sales and how the tokens are going to be allocated. Let's look at the meters because Sita has um a 12 or 13 man team, I believe. Yes. So you guys can come over here to the Meet Us, check out the creators, CEOs, all the developers. You know, it's cool when you have a smaller team, you know. I feel like the best projects always start with a smaller team. You know, not no crazy company that says they have 50 to 100 members on their team. Unless they are already established, an already established company, in my personal opinion, I believe the smaller the team, the better. If you want, if you guys want to take an example, look at Vibe, look at look at NLC. Like they all started small, and then they gradually worked their way up. And I feel like this is, you know, the formula for success with most of these startup ICOs if they're not already a well a reputable company. So boom. So was I right? Was I on the money about their how many people are on the team? I think I was wrong. Three, six, nine, twelve. 15 yeah so 15 people on the team not not that much so yeah you guys can come over here check it out they all have their linkedin pages um hyperlinked on the page as well so you guys can click on that check out who they are get to know them you know extensive um history in both of their um fields in all of their fields the company that actually um is in charge of seether is mware Mware company founded in 2012, so the company has been around around six years. They have over 50 employees. Like I said, I don't really care for large teams unless you're already an established company. Because for all I know, the fact that you have a large team could only mean that you know less funds are going to be used towards the actual project, and more funds are going to be used to pay the team members. You know, and now I, should, I just just my way of looking at things. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Hey, that's not what I'm here to talk about, really. But, you know, I just wanted to mention it, you know, for those of you who may be looking at different ICOs and, you know, maybe, a, you know, a different perspective to look at it from. I'm not a financial advisor, by the way, everybody. My, the the, the um, note at the beginning of my video always tells you all that, but I have to remind everybody, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm simply bringing information to all of you to do it as you please. So, yeah. Dave established partnerships with all major big data technology leaders and delivered projects to government agencies. So they've, they've been in the game for a while and they clearly have an idea of the direction that they want to move, especially being some, some, a company that's already credible in everything they aim to do. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to see that I actually plan to participate in the token sale as soon as some money clears up some platform some platforms and ICOs that I've put money into not necessarily because I believe in the project but because I saw it was in you know some some quick um some quick cash you know <laughs> but yeah everybody this has been Seether or Sether I'm going to just go with Seether I like Seether Seether sounds like I don't know it just sounds smooth Sether sounds forced so yeah Seether you guys can come over here to seether.io. It's S E. I'm gonna have the link to the ICO in the description of the video as well for those of you who you know don't know how to spell or listen. But you know it's S E T H E R.io. Seether.io. Seether.io. 
<laughs> but yeah, you guys can come over here, check out the white paper, the dates, token terms, team and company, frequently asked questions about the company that you may have in regards to the project and whatever other questions you may have before you actually maybe make that plunge and throw some money at, at Seether. Well, everybody, this has been your boy CG. I'm not really talking about much in this video. I just wanted to bring this ICO to everybody and bring it to everybody's attention who aren't really um, Twitter people and don't follow what John McAfee is saying and whatnot. But that's Seether. I'm going to come back in a little bit with a video covering my top low market cap coins for 2018 and the reasons why they're going to explode and moon this year. It's going to be a great year for ICOs and for low cap coins because the ICOs are only going to be top of the top of the line this year and I know this I have a gut feeling we're gonna have heat after heat after heat I have a couple more ICOs that I want to talk about coming up in the coming days so everybody stay tuned and just you know hit that notification button and have your ears open all right well this is your boy CG everybody peace I'm out